I'm really glad you called me because I have something that we need to discuss. Let's go inside. I, I don't even know how to start. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> First off, thank you so much for being here on such short notice. Just seeing you all here in this house means so much to me. And I couldn't think of a better place to announce that Elizabeth and I agree that third time's the charm. We're getting married again. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yay! Hey! Wow, gosh, she did it. Um, no. Well, uh, next time I offer advice, don't take it. Obviously, Elizabeth doesn't have reservations about marrying you again, so... <laughs> Thanks. I'll try not to tell you I told you so. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, darling, congratulations. Oh, I couldn't be proud of you. Oh, Graham, I just thank you for all your support. Really, I don't say it enough, I know. And Bobby, that goes for you, too. I really appreciate you being so involved with my children. Honey, you've been a part of this family for years, so the wedding is only going to make it official again. Guys, guys, everybody, um... Can you kind of look toward me, get together, be oh. natural? I'm taking pictures to send to Laura. Oh, okay. <laughs> Big smiles. Well, I, I guess you know what you want, and uh, you know how to get it. So uh, I admire that. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. I swear, if uh, Ethan hugs his brand new big brother, I think I might puke. It is getting a little warm and fuzzy in here. I am going into insulin shock. I'm afraid this remarriage doesn't <laughs> seem to have happily ever after written all over it. Uh, everyone, I'd like to have your attention. I'm going to make a little announcement here. Since uh, we're all together for the first time in, I don't know, maybe forever, uh, I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome Elizabeth back into the family. Although she was never really gone, it is nice that you will be a Spencer again. And uh, on that note, I really don't know what everybody knows or what the details are really not important. But the point is, I would like you to welcome my son, Ethan, into the family. He is a Spencer. Oh. God help him. Well, make him welcome, folks. Welcome, brother Ethan. Thanks. I, I don't know what to say. Well, there's a first. <laughs> I'm sorry, mate. I didn't know he was going to do that. And uh, this is supposed to be your night, not mine. So, uh, no, no, no. So it's, uh, it's a family and I know many more of them to come. So it means it's your night, too. So welcome. You certainly do know how to liven up a party. Well, no, I do what I can, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Oh, the pictures. Nice. Uh -huh. Are you sending these to France? Among other things, yeah. Uh, Laura is um, curious to see what Ethan looks like. You know, she and I discussed this. So she told me. Ethan's a little uh, rough around the edges, but... Uh, I think he seems like a nice fellow. It's nice to see you stepping up as a father, Lou. It's strange, but it's nice. I think Lucky's a fine example for you. I think Lucky's very brave. And Elizabeth, too, for giving this one more try. I certainly hope it works this time and that they get what they want. Mm-hmm. How are you holding up? You know, I'm just trying to picture Luke in this house. I never thought he'd be so domestic. Oh, no, he wasn't. He is still happier on the road than any other place in the world. Lucky actually lived with him on the road until he was about 11. I grew up in this house, mostly. But Dad wasn't around. Occasionally, he would take me ice fishing. Oh, you went ice fishing? Yes, yes. It, near Death by Frostbite is a very good father-daughter bonding experience. But this, this house is, is actually really about my mom, you know. I mean, we would have tea parties on the porch, and every summer she would have flowers everywhere, and if she was here, she would probably be baking cookies all day for an event like this. You know, I was always under the impression that Luke and Laura were these great adventurers. Yeah, I mean, at a certain point, though, she wanted to settle down and raise a family. No, just never 
Don Dispenza is normal. Oh, well, I mean, Dad could go running, screaming out of this house at any second if it makes you feel better. I'm actually surprised he hasn't already. Hi, Lou. Thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. I got the feeling that maybe you were surprised by Lucky's announcement. No, no, not really. The boys are gonna love living here full time, just like I know Lucky's gonna love having them here. He will. Mm. I'm very happy for him. I'd like to be happy for you too, but I, I get the feeling maybe you're not as sure about all this as he is. This time, Lucky and I are gonna make it. I know we will, or I wouldn't be marrying him. I really do love him. I think you do. And he loves you too, but sometimes, you know, love isn't enough. His mother and I are a good example of that. Yeah, well, it's not just about love. I mean, Lucky and I want the same things. We want the same kind of life. You're sure about that? You know, I used to uh, fear that Lucky would wake up in this house the way I used to. The walls closing in on him, not being able to breathe, suffocating. Elizabeth, I used to get up before dawn and sit out on that porch and actually think, how far down the road could I get before dark? Now I'm thinking maybe it isn't Lucky who's going to get trapped in this house. Maybe it's you. I hope you can be happy for us. I am happy. I hope the two of you can create the kind of life that you want together and that your love lasts forever. I think that's what everybody wants. <laughs> Nobody deserves it more than you two. Thank you.